Hello and welcome back. I felt like drafting, so I decided to hop into probably my final Corset Cube draft that I'll be doing. This has been fun, but it's not the same as Vintage Cube. So that said, this pack, there's Yarok, but we did that last time and I don't really want to take a three color card to start our draft. Otherwise, there's Rune Scar Demon, Open the Vaults, but that's something that will wheel. I'm just take an Elf, Loxodon Warhammer. Warhammer is pretty good. Makes every creature a threat, but it's slow and unwieldy. None of these cards really excite me all that much. Maybe I'll just take the Warhammer as a colorless card that's pretty decent in most decks. Yeah, let's see what comes our way. Ooh, there's Wildfire. I've fallen for that trap a couple times now. Don't know if I want to try it. Otherwise, there's Nyssa. Nyssa is a, is a pretty strong Planeswalker. Cavalier, I've, I've tried a couple times as well, and I've never been super impressed with it. Knight Exemplar, if we want to do like White Weenie. There's Blood for Bones, this is a reanimation spell. Moss Diamond. Some green cards for ramp. It's usually not bad. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take the Nissa, I think. It's a pretty powerful card. It owned us in the last draft that we played, so awkward that we we're passing all of the other white card or the other green cards. I'm definitely not taking Warp World. I've I I trust me, I've I've tried doing this this deck and it just never gets there. There's Beacon of Immortality if we can find the other piece of the combo, which is, I think it's like the card that may, basically when they gain life, they lose that much life. So you play that enchantment, then you target them with the beacon and they lose. I think I want to take this Lion or Visionary to to, uh, to go with the, the Nissa. It's pretty nice curve, turn three this, turn four Nissa. Yeah. Hmm. No great green guards. Fauna Shaman is kind of whatever. There's Face Fetters, which is pretty good and very splashable. Temple of Milady. Don't really want to take a duel without knowing what the second color is. Or having like a Golos or Field. Tempted by this Face Fetters. There's also Honor the Pure and Imposing Sovereign. We could also just move into white maybe. But I guess Face Fetters is still a fine card in white aggro. Maybe we can get into the green-white enchantment deck. Well, if we want to get into the green-white enchantment deck, we probably need to take the Seder Enchanter. Otherwise, the Sylvan Ranger is a more open pick. An Overwhelming Stampede, which is also definitely not bad. Ranger. Ranger is a good card. The Seder is pretty appealing. The green-white enchantment deck could be fun. Otherwise, we, if we take this and don't end up in the green-white deck, then we're missing out on a Ranger, and that's not too bad. Let's take this. Banisher Priest, Elvish Mystic, Felwer Stone, Intruder Alarm. Hmm, Intruder Alarm with Nyssa. Basically, we're missing out on an elf by taking the intruder alarm. I think there's mostly combos with Grand Cardo, so let's just take the elf. Let's be a little bit more disciplined than I would normally be, and maybe we'll end up with a good deck. There's Aura of Silence, good in the mirror if we end up in the enchantment deck. There's Prodigious Growth, which is not bad. None of these other cards are all that appealing, and so it's kind of between Aura of Silence and, and this card. This is a six mana card though, so I think it's just Aura of Silence, ye, hmm, or Mirror Image, Ambassador Laquatus for the mill deck. No, let's take the Aura of Silence, let's stay a little bit more disciplined. Remorseful Cleric, Heliod's Pilgrim, I think I want to take that. Remorseful Cleric is not bad either, but this is, this is an interesting card, it can get us a Faith Fetter, so at least it gets us a removal spell, that's pretty good. Angelic Destiny came back and opened the vaults, ooh, and drew it. So I think we're in the open colors, so that's good. Now the question is, do I want Angelic Destiny or Open the Vaults? And Open the Vaults is pretty sweet, but we don't have any way to really discard any of our enchantments. And Angelic Destiny is, yeah, it makes any creature a real threat. It keeps coming back and we have the Heliod's Pilgrim to go get it. So I like taking that. I'm happy with how the draft has gone so far. We seem to be in the right colors. There's Wildfire, so that came back. There's the Knight. It's kind of whatever. I think I take this. A Darker Wastes. Gives us a possibility of maybe splashing a blue card if we want. There's Beacon of Immortality and Gata the Pack. I think I'd take the Beacon. I don't really want to play Gata the Pack in this deck. Too high of a chance to miss. Let's take the Temple. Maybe we want to splash black. Roaring Primadox, Fungal Rebirth, Treetop Village. So definitely green's open. Primadox is cool, but we don't have that many creatures. Fungal Rebirth can get back an enchantment, so maybe we take that. Yeah. Oh, well, it was too slow. So, oh, we did end up with the Fungal Rebirth. Let's take the Intruder Alarm. Came back. Maybe we can do something with it. We have the Dark Ways to potentially splash it. And these are kind of the cards that maybe we'd play. <laughs> There's Omniscience again. 
Otherwise, there's Mongara. Let me just pop open the previewer real quick. Sorry about that. There is Mongara as well. Hmm. I'm tempted to take Omniscience just for the meme value. There is the, the white enchantment that lets you return an enchantment every turn. Otherwise, it's Mongara. I think I'll, I'll just take the Omniscience. I'm not really missing out on anything. Could be castable even. Ruined Halo. This is Pilgrimage. Ruined Halo seems like a weird card to have in the cube. It's a very specific answer. I think I rather have the Pilgrimage. Yeah, that seems fine. Fertile Ground, that's perfect. That's that's a really good card for us. Maybe this Temple Wheels, but an Enchantment Ram spell is, is kind of what we want. Seder Wayfinder, Ranger's Path, Master, Fabled Passage. Yeah, Demonic Pact is probably not happening. Although maybe we could do some stuff with this. But no, let's let's take the Seder Wayfinder, I think. I like it as a creature that can fix your mana and maybe we get some sort of graveyard synergies. Gift of Paradise, Tragic Arrogance. Tragic Arrogance seems pretty poor if we're trying to flood the board with enchantments. Although really we haven't seen all that many like payoffs for it. Hopefully we find some. Wild growth, yeah, I, I'd like that. We really want Sigil. We've been getting past all of the other enchantment cards, so I'd be surprised if someone is out there getting all the sigils and everything like that. Maybe not play this Luxor and Warhammer. War of Silence is also kind of uh, whatever. Fungal Rebirth, maybe. Yeah, we have enough ramp now. Kind of regret taking this pilgrimage, but I don't remember what we what we missed out on over this. And this pack doesn't really have anything for us. There's Rites of Flourishing, which I guess is the card we'll take, but I don't really want to play it. None of these other cards are appealing. Yeah, maybe Stab Wound, but yeah, actually maybe just take the Stab Wound. If we do end up splashing black for some reason, maybe, maybe. Spirit Mantle, Arachnus Web, Ravenous Rats. I think we take the web. This pack has not been great for us. We haven't really seen any payoffs. We've seen some good setup cards, Wild Growth for the ground, but I would like to see some payoffs. Leonin War Leader, it's a pretty good creature. Let's just take that, yeah. It's not terrible, it's a pretty good dude. It's not something that's really on theme, but it's just a good card. And this is also kind of nice with Gift of Paradise, Wild Grove, Fertile Ground. So we want to try and remember to put these on our forest if we can. I guess I take the Rune Halo, there's nothing else. And it's still some sort of a removal spell. Yeah, what do we take here? Arena, we're not playing. I think the Ingot. Probably not playing that either. We have enough three drops and we have enough ramp. I think I'll take the Demonic Pact here. Unlikely to make our deck, but Ranger's Path is high and whatever. It's not great ramp. We have enough brush land. I like. Still don't like Tragic Arrogance. Just the fact that you also have to sack enchantments makes it pretty poor. Having a on color fixing land is pretty nice. Don't think we'll dip into red, so I'll take this creature. Ball Lightning, that can go into the sideboard. Probably some of these can also go into the sideboard, but I haven't completely given up on some of these cards. We do want to open up some payoffs in this pack. The, the the thing that gets back enchantments every turn would be nice. Hmm, not exactly payoffs. What does this do? Need to be able to gain life. You know, we don't really have that in our deck. Field of the Dead, unlikely to be good. Verdant Haven, I guess we take that, but I really have enough of this effect already. Ugh, I was really hoping to get some sort of payoff. Let's take it and then probably move this Nissa Pilgrimage. Mm, there's Aramancer, there's Rancor, which is pretty good, but there's also Vivian. Don't have that many creatures, but maybe we can find some more. Otherwise, Cultivate, Rancor, but Rancor also needs creatures, and then Vivian is just a little better. Okay, Joriel, it's not bad. If we find some more Enchantresses, this can, this can get out of hand. So I think we take that, it's also a two drop, which is nice. Yeah, we're not really seeing the payoffs for being an enchantment deck. Now that I think about it, we have pretty good fixing, so we might be able to dip into another color. We have Fertile Ground, Gift of Paradise, Verdant Haven. So that's a nice start uh, to some fixing. So we could maybe splash blue or maybe splash black. So that's something we should stay open and on the lookout for. Starfield of Nyx. All right, that's that's a card. That's a card we really want. So I'm happy to pick that up. I still would like to see the Sigil and maybe an extra Enchantress, but Starfield is pretty good. We could even consider playing Demonic Pact now. It's a little greedy on the mana. I mean, this tab one as well. Maybe Rune Halo. Temple becomes a thing. And then if we play Demonic Pact, we might want to play this Aura of Silence too. Then we can kill it and then we can keep getting it back with the, with the Starfield. 
yeah not sure yeah this was also the pack with the with the aramancer fungal rebirth might also make our deck still on the lookout for any enchantresses or the sigil what do we have here there's peace of mind which can discard cards and gain life there's also cavalier of darn and that seems real nice when it dies you return target artifact or enchantment card and when it enters the battlefield you destroy one target in online permanence so they get a 3-3 but this seems good the mana is pretty pretty hefty mana cost but i like it yeah let's get this intruder alarm out this omniscience don't need this a darker waste probably get rid of the beacon the warhammer or the rebirth this door to nothingness well it's not happening just draft acidic slime or finthorn elder acidic slime is not a bad creature yeah let's take that we have a plenty of ramp and this is also a death toucher which can be surprisingly relevant spirit link some petal grove garrick i think we want the garrick not sure maybe there's one more pack where we have a chance of finding an enchantress but let's take the garrick here garrick ramps makes beasts and can win the game so that's pretty good for a four mana card look like we're not getting there on the enchantresses Liliana's Contract. Yeah, I think that's a little too risky. Probably take this Pillar of Light as, a, as an answer to a big creature. Yeah, no, not getting any Enchantresses. I think I'd take the Zombify. Don't really want to play it. Aramancer, Temple of Silence, Rancor. I think Aramancer is the pick. No, let's take the Temple. We have enough playables, so I kind of like playing Demonic Pack. Maybe not good, but definitely be fun. Let's take this. Ooh, City of Brass. That's kind of awkward. We don't really have all that much life gain. I still take it, but I'm not sure if I'll play it. Peace of Mind, Read the Bones, Brittle Effigy. Uh, I guess Peace of Mind, Door to Nothingness, Wheels, Spirit Link. Okay, Spirit Link is also a weird way of removing or neutralizing a creature. So I don't know if we should be playing this demonic pack. Probably not. Just straight up green-white. We are a little lacking in good ways to win the game draw to kind of want to run it but how many ways do we have to kill it we have vivian we have the aura of silence and the war priest and then we really have the starfield next to combo with that see what it looks like if we take out all of those pieces and it seems actually pretty good probably don't need this peace of mind we only have 10 creatures and we don't have great removal yeah i thought our deck was pretty good but maybe it's not all that great if you play this demonic pact, we really need to run this R of silence and then we can cut the arachnus web. But is there anything else we can cut? Spirit link. Now we also have acidic slime to get rid of it. So we have quite some ways to get rid of it actually. The thing is getting it into play, but we have good mana fixing. Yeah, I've convinced myself and maybe it's not the best way to play this, but it does seem fun. This is pilgrimage. We really need that. Cut the pilgrimage and just play an extra land. No, we don't need 17 lands. We have so much ramp. Maybe just a spirit link. Yeah, let's try this. Actually, I want to play stab wound over spirit link. This is a enchantment that can keep getting back. We can keep getting back, so it seems fine. Maybe a rune halo. No, let's try this. Ready for round one with our needlessly Abzan enchantment deck. Probably should have been straight green white, but that looked a little boring. Look, this is way more fun. We can be abzan without actually having a green source i'll still keep this because if we draw a green source this hand is pretty pretty good you know, we have plenty of green sources in our deck i feel although maybe we should be cutting a plains for an extra forest who knows they start on a swamp we draw r of silence perfect we can rune halo their first play if it's scary enough forest and they do nothing demonic pact look perfect our mana is perfect we draw the perfect cards all's fine All's right with the world. Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. All right. Verdant Haven. So they're ramping Brushland. So what we can do now, we can just play our, our Elvish Mystic. And then next turn, we can play Vivian. Kill their Verdant. Or maybe they play a big flyer. Who knows? As long as they don't kill our Elvish Mystic. Oh, they don't do anything. I don't mind that. Starfield of Nyx. That's pretty cool too. Let's just get out Vivian. Oh, wait. They've actually fixed our black mana for us. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Um, this is killed our Verdant. They didn't play anything last turn, and now we're taking them off a of mana, so I'd be surprised if they can play anything this turn. Oh, that's annoying because that's just going to kill our Vivian. We can play a Demonic Pact to kill it. Yeah, that's annoying. Should have realized that something might be up. 
What do we want to do here? I think I just want to play Demonic Pact. Yeah, let's play Demonic Pact. It's at the beginning of our upkeep. I thought it did something immediately. So they can maybe get more wolves. That's annoying. Can we name wolf with this? I don't think we can. What is this? Five mana, all of which black. Mind Shatter. No! And we discard it random. Oh yeah, yay. No, and we discarded our Starfield. Yikes. I think we might be losing this game to our own Demonic Pact. They smash. Yep. Although, maybe we can also name Ruined Halo. Uh, let's kill Demonic Pact with the Ruined Halo. I don't know. Don't think that works. Play this Seer Enchanter. And let's tab wound this guy. We draw a card. We have some ways to still kill this and some ways to recur whatever we discard it. But that was pretty brutal. What did they have? Two mana, Seda Wayfinder. They reveal Blood for Bones, Forest, Rampant Grove, Scuttling Doom Engine. Okay, so they also have some reanimation. Elvish Visionary. I think we want to draw some cards this turn. Draw two cards. Yep. Okay, Seder Wayfinder, Nissa. Not bad, but so not all that great. Let's play Nissa. That's Plato Seder. Hopefully we don't mill all of our ways to kill Demonic Pact. Well, we milled one Acidic Slime. Let's just turn this into a guy. And I think I also attack with this guy. If you want to double block it, that's fine. Yeah, well, they don't even block it. I just want to kind of race my own Demonic Pact now. But I don't think that's really a possibility for us. Mask. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That's pretty bad. All our guys die. We take six. Oosh. Uh, they attack us. We go down to seven. And we now have to find a way to get rid of our own Demonic Pact. Make them discard. Garrick. So we are dead to our own Demonic Pact. That's a that's a way to start the draft for sure. Ferdinand Haven. Yeah, that wouldn't have done it. Okay, concede the game. We had a hand that was actually pretty good with Demonic Pact, but I think I want Pillar of Light. I'm not giving up on this Demonic Pact. I, I've come this far. I'm, I'm not just chickening out now. Maybe we do want an extra forest, now that I think about it. Maybe just stab wound. No, I like most of our cards. Yeah, maybe just a stab wound. Seems the worst card. Who knows? Okay, we can ramp out a pretty quick Vivian. So let's keep this. Play a forest. They play a swamp. And we want to put this fertile ground on our forest, I guess. Just because we can untap it with Nyssa. So we'll get a turn four Vivian. Distress. We're not getting a turn four Vivian. Imagine that's what they take care of. Yep. That's unfortunate. Garrick. Garrick's pretty good too. Uh, let's make double green with this. Play Garrick. And I think we just make a beast. Yeah. Just put some pressure and then next turn we can make some mana. Or maybe just make a beast still. Three mana. Gift of Paradise. Sure. We gain some life. Ooh, another Nissa. Green. Play. This Plains. And I think we Verdant Haven on this Plains. Yep. Gain some life. Tap this. Make another green. Untap two lands, the ones that are enchanted. And tap more mana for Anissa. And then I'll play Seder Wayfinder as well. Yeah, we milled some good ones, but it's kind of whatever. Um, let's just make one of our lands a 4-4. Four, four. We don't get to attack with it now, but that's fine. I think we had a pretty good turn. We have two Planeswalkers in play and some power on the board. Yawing my Coast, okay. So they have blue mana in the deck as well. Elvish Visionary. A chumper, and that's it. We draw another land, not what we wanted. I think we just make this a creature, and then I think we attack for quite a bit of damage. Say the Wayfinder as well. So it's 12, they just take it, and then I think we untap both our creature lands, and then we have an overrun available for next turn. So they have quite some work to do now. Yeah, they concede. All right, that went pretty well. Mm, against them, is there still anything that we would want to change? I don't think so. Let's just run it back. Seeing uh, the draw where we just play green and white cards really makes me question this demonic pack, but I think it's fun. Hey, it could be good here. We could also die to it, but hey, it's what we signed up for, right? And they play a swamp and pass. We play a temple. Angelic Destiny, that's not what we need. We can find it with the Heliod's Pilgrim if need be. We just hope that they have a kind of a slow hand. Looks like it. They just play a forest and pass. Gift of Paradise. So we can ramp out a little bit. Temple of Silence. Garrick. I do think I want Garrick. Another forest and they do nothing. So next turn if they do nothing, we know that we might need to watch out for that, that wolf. Enchant our forest. 
gain a bit of life and they don't do anything still and now they don't do anything again so this is the turn where they could have the, the stupid wolf if i play garrick now and i can untap two lands i can play a heliot's pilgrim to block their wolf and then they can start making tokens i kind of want to play this this creature seems like a, a good beefy boy and something they don't necessarily want to have attacking yeah they play the ambusher it's a four four even I guess this is also bad if they just have an instant speed removal spell. This card is just very good if your opponent doesn't do anything for the first couple turns. You can just flash it in and play at instant speed from there. That said, we didn't see all that many instants. Oh, wait. I hope we don't get mind shattered. They can just mind shatter almost our whole hand. That would be bad. Hour of Silence. We can heal its Pilgrim. And what can we find? I don't think we can find an answer to this, this ambusher. If we play Garrick, we can play Demonic Pact, then next turn we can kill this Ambusher. We can also just attack with this guy and then just attack it into the Ambusher. Seems a little weak, but I don't think this ambush this war leader is necessarily long for this world. But if we play Garrick this turn, yeah, we play Garrick, untap two lands, play the Demonic Pact, then next turn we can kill their Ambusher. This guy being a 4-4 four -four is kind of a problem here. Untap two target lands, this and this. And then I think we do just play our Demonic Pact. We have a way to kill it, but if they Mind Shatter us, we might be in trouble again. No one attack. If they attack, we might block. They didn't play anything. So they really just didn't do anything on their turn. Massacre Worm, Scuttling Doom Engine. Well, that's something we can kill. I think we take six damage if we do. Oh, they can also kill a Planeswalker. They don't attack. I think I just want to kill their Ambusher. Cavalier, that's a good draw also. What I kind of want to do now though is play Heliot's Pilgrim, go searching, find, we can either find Face Fetters or Angelic Destiny. We can make an 8-8, yeah we can make an 8-8 but then that really doesn't do all that much. Let's get the Face Fetters. Making an 8-8, not all that appealing. So let's Face Fetters this guy and then let's untap this and this. Let's make white mana. Play R of Silence. And at least we're better against Mind Shatter now, if that's what they have. Now we can also attack with the Leonin War Leader, which I think is fine. We get a token, one they can eat. We gain a little bit of life. I am a little worried about Massacre Worm here. But that's just what it is. We're at 33. How do we gain that much life, actually? Hmm. So the Life Link. What else? The Gift of Paradise. Oh, Demonic Pact also. I'm feeling good about this game. I okay, hope the Cavalier lives. They attack Garrick. Just throw our Pilgrim under the bus. We can make them discard. I think we just want to draw cards though. Making them discard plays into reanimation. I think we just draw two cards. Try to push our advantage even further. Nissa, also pretty nice. Cavalier. Let's just start by playing Nissa. I think we just... No. This is the forest that I just played. Does it also give haste? No, it does not. So let's turn one of our temples into a dude then. We can overrun Garrick. What does that do for us? We have, if you overrun Garrick, it's 8 power, 9 power, plus 9, it's 18. So I think that actually just wins us the game if they don't have anything. So let's go for that. All right, that got us there. Pretty sweet. Demonic Pact being pretty good here. It lost us the first game, but it was good here. So let's go on to match two. Match two, let's see how we do here. We have some mana, we have a Joreal, we can slap an Angelic Destiny on it. Joreal probably not that good in our deck, now that I think about it, we didn't really get there on the Enchantress. But whatever, let's just keep this, we do need some creatures and it's fine. We'll just draw a Demonic Pact and draw some cards that way, right? Brushland, tap it, Wild Grove. Hope to draw a Forest next turn to be able to play the Gift on. A little bit better with Nissa. Aura of Silence, perfect. Planes, just tap this and then do the planes. Ramp, ramp, ramp. Opponent has played a Swiftwater Cliffs and now an island. Don't need to blow up any enchantments anytime soon. I think we just play Joreal. Remove Soul, sure. I guess we play this guy. It's not super likely that they have an artifact or an enchantment. No, cancel. Oh, we have to target something and then we say no. No. And maybe next turn we can Angelic Destiny this guy if they tap out. Temple of Epiphany. We scry. Scry to the bottom. If they just pass, I don't think I play this Destiny. Maybe they just kill our guy. Phantasmal Image. Ugh. No. War Priest. Kill our Paradise. Yep. At least we get to send this guy to the skies now. So we do need to tap this for white. Slap a Destiny on it. 
an attack for six in the air. They can bounce it, and I think if they do that, we do lose our destiny. But that's just the way it is. Tranquil Cove. So they're Jeskai. Jeskai Control. Fire Diamonds. Yeah, that's fine. They attack us for two. I think I just used Aura of Silence to kill their Fire Diamond. Sets them back a little bit. We haven't seen anything else yet. Maybe I'll regret this, but just slowing them down seems good. We just want to have as much time attacking with a 6-6 six, six flyer. Rootbound Crag. Okay, so there are five colors. I imagine there's a Golos hiding in their deck. Garrick. We'll play Garrick for sure. Let's go attacking first. If something happens, we have Garrick as a backup. Looks like they're just taking it. And I hope to not get Mana Leaks. Mana Leak would be unfortunate, but no. Make a beast. So even if they wipe the board, we have a threat left over. Island. What can they do? Nothing. All right. Angelic Destiny gets us there. Plus four, plus four. Are pretty good. What do we want against them? There's some form of control. I think Fungal Rebirth could be good. And Stab Wound, probably not that appealing. What else? Nothing really. Yeah, let's just submit. Game two. If I had a green mana, oh, I forgot to update our deck and put an extra forest over our planes. But I can't keep this. As much as it, is, as it hates the mulligan against the control deck. I'll keep this. Put a forest on the bottom. We have Heliot's Pilgrim that can get us the destiny again. Acidic Slime is not bad. Face Fetters is fine too. Dragon Skull Summit. So yeah, there are some sort of five color deck. So I imagine Golos is, is somewhere in their deck. Temple, Fertile Ground. I'll take it. That lets us play a turn three war leader. If they can't counter that, it's a pretty fast clock. Kite Sail Freebooter. Well, they can take our face fetters. A little bit of a confusing deck from our opponents. Yeah, Fertile Ground, a very nice draw. So next turn, the war leader is coming out. They might keep up a counter spell. If they have mana up, then I'll probably just play Helios Pilgrim. It's also a pretty big threat for them with the Angelic Destiny in our deck. Let's play another island. We serve with the freebooter and then don't do anything. Play a land. Also just play Gift of Paradise and chill. Kind of like that more. Maybe next turn we play the Acidic Slime. Yep, gain a little bit of life. Just say go. We're not under any pressure really. They serve with the freebooter. We take our one. Oh, and they didn't have a land drop. Hmm. Drawing that is unfortunate because I'm not sure how many more auras we have in our deck. I think I'll start with the Acidic Slime pretty juicy target for them to counter if they're missing land drops but I also don't mind if this gets countered yeah fine like if they draw a land next turn they're up to three mana again so whatever they hit with the freebooter and don't do anything okay verdant haven what happens if we play that yeah just play the verdant haven on the temple and then let's play this pilgrim honestly I'm not 100% sure we have anything in our deck left to get I probably should remember, but if there is, I want to get it now. I think there is, right? Yes, let's search. Wild Growth. Well, better to just get it out there. How does Wild Growth work? Okay, so that does work even if it's already enchanted with something else. They've drawn a land now. That's fine. They serve again? No. We draw Forest. Let's tap this. Let's make a white. Enchant our other land. Tap this. Play the War Leader. Unfortunate that we can't do two spells this turn. Maybe I should have waited. I don't counter. Let's just say go. I don't. There's no point in attacking into the freebooter. They will just block. They're stuck on lands, but they do have seven cards in hand, so I don't love our position. We really need to draw some sort of planeswalker or something like that. Next turn, we do have the destiny to slap onto our pilgrim. Well, maybe it's better to slap it onto the war leader or or wait because if they have something. They probably use it to kill the war leader. And then if they don't, we know that the coast is clear. Elvish Mystic. Yeah, so I kind of just want to, kind of want to wait. This is really the only thing we have going on besides the war leader. If they, well, they probably don't have anything then if, if they're not doing anything here. They block. Okay, so this feels like there's a board wipe coming in because why else would you block? So I, I expect all of our creatures to die next turn. So I don't want to play this Elvish Mystic because that's our only creature. Feels dead. Yeah, that was to be expected. Languish. Yeah, oh. well, <laughs> Angelic Destiny would have been good there. Thinking what's in the cube, this actually makes sense for them to have that. Play the Elvish Mystic and then let's come out of the left field with this Demonic Pact. We still can't play anything else, but this should be good. Jungle Hollow. There's still some ways off of making zombie tokens. 
the Golos. Well, they're closer now. We can face Feathers the Golos though. And I think I make them discard now. They must have some good ones stuck in their hand. And then we have stuff to play anyway. Temple of Triumph, so they get to scry also. One, two, three, four, five, six. So next turn is when they get to make zombie tokens. We can also at some point ping them. I think we make them discard. Yep, Findhorn Elder, Kikar. So they have a brew going on, that's for sure. So do we. Make white mana, slap on the destiny, and then make some more mana and slap on face fetters onto Golos so they can't activate it. And we swing in for five. Next turn we draw two cards and then the turn after that we can shoot them for four. So they have some, some work to do. What is this? Primeval Titan? Confiscate. You Confiscate is real good. Yeah, we have a game on our hands. Let's draw two cards. Cavalier. Ooh, it's a little awkward. Wait, can we even kill our own thing? Yes, we can. We can kill our own card. And I don't want to wait with it because then then we they can maybe like counter it or whatever, and that would be that would be bad if they counter this and we don't get to kill our demonic packs. That would be very bad. But they do have a 5-5 flying dude now. So I think we kill our own demonic pact. We've gotten some value off of it. And then maybe we'll return it at some point. And we have ways to kill enchantments, so that's good. We we have that built into our deck. What is this? Yeah, they, they have a bunch of big bombs in their hand. Chromatic Orrery. Ooh, this is a wild one. I like our opponent's deck. What else? Yarok. Wow. <laughs> I think we're losing this game. I'm pretty sure. Death Touch, Lifelink. If our Cavalier dies though, we do get to get back Demonic Pact and maybe that can do something. Forest, that's not what we wanted to draw. They don't attack, neither will we. Let's just see what they have for us, but I'm pretty sure we're dead here. So we cannot give our opponent too much time, that's clear now. Play another island, still no active field of the dead. Wood Elves, yeah they should have played that first. They get two triggers, so they get even more zombies. They got a lot of zombies. I love our opponent's deck, it seems real cool. It does seem pretty slow. And I'm not too worried about counter spells because I'm not sure how many can they can fit into that deck. So I think we do want to play a little fast. They're going to draw some cards. Yep, they draw three. What do they do? They don't do anything. War Priest. I like War Priest. We can use it to kill the Confiscate. And then we have a good blocker for the Yarok and a threat in the air. And I tap the guy for mana. Turn it into an angel. You know what? I've seen enough. We're not getting out of this and I don't really want to slog through this with no real chance of winning. Yeah, no way. Our opponent had enough fun. Doesn't look like there's anything we really want. Let's just run it back and try and be a little faster because they will definitely go over the top of whatever we can do. One land. Nope. Okay. This is not great, but I guess we keep. I don't want to mulligan further. Now, this hand is not fast, which is kind of the opposite of what we want. So we really want to draw one of our, yep, we really wanted to draw that. That is perfect. Speeds is up by a whole turn. We still need to find some lands, but I'll also take another mana ramp enchantments. We still have three in our deck. Tranquil Cove. Our opponent has some lands. This is not terrible. It's at least a creature we can play, but we really do need to draw a land now. Temple of Epiphany. So they have all colors of mana. If we draw a land, I think I want to play Nissa. Just because if they have Remove Soul and we play any of these other cards, that's a lot worse. We haven't seen like Mana Leak out of them. We do draw the land, that's good. Let's just play the Nissa. They don't have a counter for that. Make a 4-4 four four out of this land. Oh wait, it can languish us now. But I think next turn I want to untap my mana anyway. So that's fine. If they play a tap land here, then maybe we can Acidic Slime them. Telling time. Maybe they're digging for lands. Field of the Dead. Still feel like even with this field, we want to kill their jungle hollow just so we can't get languished. There are some ways off of playing a field or activating field. Can we also play Gift of Paradise? We tap these, we play Gift here, tap this for two and then untap these two and then we'll have six mana. So yes, we can do that. Gift of Paradise, tap this for green and tap these forests, tap for green. And then Acidic Slime, their black source. Just so it's less likely that they can languish us. Slam for five. And then next turn we get to slam for... We get to slam for 11. 
we're close to dead dragon skull summit still feel like we probably just want to animate the land anyway even if they could untap play swamp play languish demonic pact i do want that that can just shoot them also let's make this into a creature and slam it's pretty much languish or bust for them i feel yeah they don't have it all right uh two and oh with our abzen <laughs> enchantress deck running demonic pact for no real reason but it's been pretty good so far except that one game that we lost to it but hey on to the finals all right here for the finals we have this hand we can play garrick maybe and we have joriol even though joriol has been pretty poor let's just keep we also have the destiny maybe we can get that online planes from our opponents. Cedar Wayfinder, I like that. And find us some lands. Another planes. Is this White Weenie? Knight of the White Orchid, without value. Verdant Haven, let's go planes. And then Cedar Wayfinder. Hope to find a swamp or some sort of black source. Or a white source, actually. Well, we got a black source. We got what we asked for. We can also play Verdant Haven next turn, gain a little bit of life. Getting this Angelic Destiny on one of our creatures would be pretty good, I feel. Although they might have like O-rings and stuff. And it's not the greatest versus O-ring because it only comes back when the creature dies. Resplendent Angel. That's a scary one. <laughs> Demonic Pact. Just what we needed. I think I just want to develop our mana and play this Verdant Haven. Demonic Pact can kill the Angel. Let's see. Hopefully they don't have a way to gain life because then we are in trouble. We don't have a great way to deal with wide boards. Mentor of the Meek. We can kill that. They attack. We just take it. Go down to 15. What can we do here? We can play Garrick, untap two lands. Then they can attack with the Angel. So playing Garrick doesn't seem great. We can stab wound the Mentor, but they haven't shown us many lands. Mentor can find lands. Yeah, let's just play Joriel, even though it's pretty poor. And then stab wound this Mentor. We don't have many ways to draw extra cards and the best way is the Seder and that's gone now. Hmm, they found the land. When does this card become active? Six mana. I need to gain five life. Honor of the Pure. They're getting close. Remorseful Cleric. Yeah, no blocks. We're down to eight. Ooh, this is pretty good. Let's play the Temple because we're going to do that anyway. Forest. I think we want Forest. We can't. Yeah, we can play the Nissa and then we can untap. We're going down to one if we do this, but then the turn after we get to kill. Yeah, we'll play Nissa. Untap four lands for forests. These ones. Oh, wait. This is not like the other land. Huh. I thought it was like the other one that just makes two of whatever you want. That's not the case. So let's play Garrick then. And I guess we make a beast. Yikes. That's not good. We don't have good blocks even. So let's hope they go after our planeswalkers. They probably just should attack us. And I think we even put a forest on top. Thinking that we maybe would be drawing some cards and getting to do all of this stuff and needing more mana. In actuality, that's not the case. Face Fetters, the Nissa. Yeah, and now they also gain a bunch of life. So even if they don't attack our Planeswalkers, we're just dead. They're getting extra angels. We can't deal with that. I think I want Spirit Link. What does Harm's Way do again? This could be fine too. Cavalier seems fine as well. Stab Wound is a removal spell. Rune Halo. What do we really want to cut though? Acidic Slime? Acidic Slime is not that great. Oh, Joriel for sure. Beacon of Immortality? I don't think so. If we're losing, we're losing by a lot. Locks and Warhammer. We don't have that many creatures. Let's just run it like this. I love this matchup. If they're fast, we are in trouble. No, yeah, this is a very bad hand. This isn't much better, but I don't really want to mulligan further. Let's put back. What do we even put back? gift. I mean, it's not, yeah, this is a bad hand, but going down to five with our deck, I think, is just as much of a death sentence. Elite Vanguard. We can kill that with the harm's way. Oh, we draw the forest. Perfect. Consul's Lieutenant. I think we just take the hit then, and maybe we can kill this Lieutenant with the harm's way. It seems better. Let's play the Heliod's Pilgrim. And I think I want to get face setters over Angelic Destiny, just because it's fairly easy for them to play a Faith Fetters on their, of their own on our, our creature, and then we have nothing. Now we get to block here, kill this guy, and then maybe Faith Fetters their next play. Knight of the White Orchid. Yep. They get to get a land. I think we might be losing this one. But who knows? Who knows? We're not out of it yet. Honor of the Pure. Well, our opponent's deck is just a fun police. Ooh. How does this work? Choose any target. Yeah. So we'll 
choose that, pay a white, choose that, no blocks, and then that guy dies. Okay, it worked the way we wanted it to work. War of Silence, that is a thing, a thing we are going to use right away. Maybe we just wait until in combat, otherwise they can play something pre-combat. Now it's a little harder for them to do so. They have another land. We can beat more lands, that's for sure. We get in with both. I think we just go to blocks and then we shoot this. And then we trade and we take two. We draw another land, that's not good. I don't really want to face feathers this guy. I want to face feathers something a little better. Face feathers is going to gain us four life, so we have some time to wait. Can't wait forever. They draw another land. Sun Titan. Ugh. Well, I'm glad we waited with the face fetters, but Sun Titan is annoying. Probably just get back to Lieutenant. Opponent's deck is good. Just solid white creatures. If I wasn't addicted to playing Gank and having cool cards in my deck, this would be, I think, one of the better decks in the format. Wait, they chose not to use Sun Titan's ability. All right, that must have been a misclick, but that's very good for us. It's just face fetters. This Sun Titan, play a forest and say go. We can also spirit link this creature so we don't actually take damage from it. Mentor of the Meek. Uh, Mentor is annoying. Start drawing some more cards. Draw another planes. I think I have to do this now. So we only take two a turn, otherwise we're taking four. That's a little bit too much. No. Oi. That guy is gonna do a number on us. We don't really have a removal spell for it. We take six this turn, so we're dead next turn. Yeah, Temple of Lady. All right. I think our deck was pretty cool. We just got destroyed by the fun police in the final round, but we had some fun with the, with the Demonic Pact. It did some work, it killed us one time. I think I'm done with this format for now, and there's some cool things that you can do, but it's all just a little bit too janky, and some of the synergies just don't really work out. They promise you a lot, like the Warp World deck, but then in the end, it's just not really a realistic plan. So I'll see you back for, for more drafts when, uh, when Cube Vintage Cube, actual Cube, comes back in December. Until then, I'll do more Penny Dreadful. See you next time.